I literally just wrapped on another video and this is hello the start of my anime convention vlog it is Thursday I have the rest of today to prepare as well as tomorrow before I have to get everything set up and do the show this weekend but completely convention unrelated I want to show you guys something I am so excited for I've been waiting literally two months for this so let me let me show you that is Special boy has arrived. Let me get him out of his prison. Oh wow, my nails are janky. Ignore that. So this was part of a, not a collaboration, but I did, I guess you could call it a collaboration. I had an opportunity with Vograce, who is the manufacturer I use for my keychains and my shaker charms. And they had reached out to me saying, hey, we'd love to let you use one of our products to do a review on. You have the entire like catalog of products to choose from. And I wanted to do enamel pins because I've only ever used a couple of different manufacturers for pins. I'm currently working with one that I've had for many years now. So I thought, hey, I'd give them a shot. You know, they do a lot of stuff over at Volgrace and I really like the keychains that I get there. So let's try enamel pins. And I, <laughs> I designed this little boy and decided to use him to launch my enamel pin club this month. And yeah, so the Vogue Race enamel pins, if you're ordering on their website, they're gonna be kind of cut and dry and there's different things that you can choose like the size and the quantity and all that stuff. And I actually had to end up emailing the rep because the screen printing details, like, oh wow, my nail, like this uh, spots and his little cheeks, those weren't included, but I reached out to make sure that they could do that and they did. So I have, you know, the two colors screen printed, one, two, three, four colors otherwise on the gold plating. He's got one pin post and my back stamp. So yeah. I ordered 50 of them and I sorted mine based on, I'm, I'm really picky about grading my pins, Ryan will tell you all day long. I'm so, so ridiculously picky. So I did Patreon A grade, which is like the creme de la creme, this is what my pin club people are going to get. I did regular A grade, which is like, I don't want somebody who's a hardcore pin collector in my pin club to not be happy with this quality, but it's not super bad quality. So those are going to the general public after March when he's no longer available at a discounted price in my Patreon. And then there's the B grade, which is like tons of flaws, you know, like not anything that I would enjoy receiving if I paid full price for it. So I'm not gonna charge somebody else full price for it. So with those three tiers and with the 50 pins, I actually received eight extras. So I had a total of 58. I had 27 Patreon A grades, 27 regular A grades, and four B grades. So that is pretty fantastic as far as quality control goes. I think the only thing that really bothered me, and I didn't really have a frame of reference to know if this was normal or not, but I ordered these pins like early to mid January, like right after SAC Anime Winter, and I literally just received them. And it's March 16th. 17th. It's March 17th. So that's like two months production time. And I was really sweating because I wanted to make sure they were going to get here in time for them to go out with the March stuff. Um, I ordered them as early as I did thinking I'd get them last month, but I'm pretty pleased with the quality for that. Like for reference, the pin manufacturer that I currently use, they take like three to four weeks tops. However, I have had several batches from them that have a high amount of B grades. So I don't know if it's a, you're paying a little bit more and spending a little more time waiting for them for better quality or what, but that was my only hang up. Otherwise they were really great with communication. They were really great with accommodating my needs and the quality is great. And like, <laughs> you really can't tell in person or on this video, especially with this lighting that I'm using, what the heck? Um, but the gold plating is like a little kind of like rosy gold. I, I freaking love it. I'm so happy with these. So 
There's still a little bit of time if you want to join my pin club. I think they might, there might be slots left by the time you see this. If not, he will be coming to my shop in my next shop update, though he will be at full price. So join when you can. Good morning, it's Saturday, and usually by now we would have been like set up from the night before. Um, we didn't do that this time, and I think mostly because it's a local show, so it's not that big of a deal, uh, but also because so many things went wrong and I was running very behind. So I got everything packed up this morning, and Ryan's currently loading up the Tesla. We're gonna take it downtown and get set up and do day one. The state of our front room is a disaster. Mostly from convention prep, but also just because we've been selling a lot of stuff on eBay. Ooh, crate babies. We don't trust them to not run out the door. Just for a minute, then you can leave. Periwinkles unstuffed. We're operating in a bit of a mess today. Ah, oh, it's the end of day one! Let's do a damage report. We've sold out of the little yellow Polaroid camera keychains. 
There's more mystery packs in the back, but we're down to two from today. And lots of sacred charms are gone. A lot of these are seasonal ones that I wasn't restocking, and then there's a few that I just forgot to restock. But I'll have them in for WonderCon. And there's lots of periwinkles too. So make sure you take a boy home. Behind the booth is a mess as usual.
<laughs> Day two is a wrap. We're exhausted. Mm -hmm. Going home. Mm -hmm. And look what's behind us. So we're gonna get some food and I'll see you in the next part. Hello! Welcome to the end of the video. It's a couple days after Anime Con has wrapped up and I've just kind of simultaneously been chilling and also prepping like crazy for WonderCon, but that's for another video. As always, I wanted to take some time and talk to you guys about how the show went for me and discuss like my profits versus expenses, though I will remind you that I don't talk about actual dollar amounts in the video, but if you join my Patreon for $5 or more, you can have access to all of that information and all of the, the dirty laundry in all of my other convention videos. So this show, I would like to say, this is my hometown show. In 2017, this is the first convention I ever, ever did. I've learned a lot just from this one show. I've made a lot of amazing connections with other artists and now friends from this show. It has a very special place in my heart. And I was so overwhelmed over the weekend um, because Ryan kept, kept leaving. So I didn't really have time until early this week to reflect on it. But it made me kind of emotional because I met my best friend at this convention. I've met what will probably be lifelong friends in the artist community here in Fresno. And it just is a constant positive learning experience. And to have seen where I started versus where I'm at now, it's it's really great. So if you came through or whatever, if you stopped by my booth in any way, shape or form, whether you supported me or not, I wanna thank you because it is just, you know, it. It's the reason I do this at the end of the day. Obviously, I'm making a living from this now, but to see people and to connect with them through my art, especially in my own community, there's no words to describe how special that is. So, let me just start off by saying the last time this show was held was in March of 2019. There was an August show. There used to be a summer and a spring version of this show. I don't know if... Um, the showrunner will be bringing the spring or the the summer convention back. I never personally did very good at them So I don't know that I would even do it, but the spring show in March is always amazing It's usually the first convention I have for the year and this one Obviously in 2020 it was canceled like a week before the show because everything was locking down so my table was paid for at the show in 2019 I had already paid for that table way back then at the end of that show. So I did not count my table cost in this profit pie chart because there's no point. I've had this show paid for for years and the way I was looking at it was because I, it, the fairgrounds where this convention is held is 20 minutes away from my house. We don't have to pay for hotel costs. We don't have to pay for charging costs for the Tesla because we can charge at home. Saturday Ryan paid for our lunch and I made dinner at home and so we had some food expenses on Sunday and then my only other expenses were the square fees for accepting credit card payments. Literally everything else is profit. If you join my Patreon and scroll down to see like where I break down all the numbers, the amount that I made in 2019 versus what I made for this one is quite significant. So thank you again to everybody who came out and supported me and I just truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Now, that was obviously very, very brief, and, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of explanation to go through for such a simple pie chart. I already kind of did it. So, I wanted to go back and talk about, at the beginning of this video, when I showed you guys the periwinkle pins, Vograce has reached out to me and wants me to offer a giveaway to you guys, and I have never had an opportunity like this, so I wanted to thank you guys, my followers, and thank Vograce as well by facilitating this giveaway. And you guys have the opportunity to win $50 to anything that Vograce has to offer in their uh, manufacturing catalog. Obviously this is gonna be more geared towards artists and people starting out, but this is, this is a great opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and here's the details for the giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to my channel you subscribe to Vograce's channel, you leave a comment on this video, and just tell me what kind of merch you're interested in buying from Vograce. And there's a link to them 
in the description below, vograce.com. So yeah, you will also have the opportunity to enter this giveaway on TikTok. It's gonna be two separate giveaways. So there's a chance to win $50 on TikTok. And there's a chance to win $50 here on YouTube. So uh, if you want to see the contest details reiterated, you can check the description below. And I will also give you a date to have this done by. Obviously, if you're watching after the deadline to enter, sorry you missed it. Maybe there will be more opportunities in the future to do a giveaway, but yeah, I just wanted to be sure to thank everybody who has supported not only my shops, but my Patreon as well. And the pin club this month that I'm starting for the first time is growing exponentially. And by the time you guys see this, there will still be less than a week to pledge to any of my reward tiers to get this month's periwinkle goods and I'm very quickly running out of slots for the pin club and the merch box. There's other tiers available where you can get the pin but they're all very limited so make sure you check it out before March 31st if you want to get these pins. Otherwise literally everything else available this month will become available in my shop when I reopen it in April but they will be sold individually and at full price so it is really like literally the best deal is the merch box because it's 35 dollars shipping is included and you get a ton of awesome goods and i cannot wait for you guys to see what i have in store for april and may they're going to be um not what's the word i want to look for i guess sibling themes like the the first theme is going to tie into the second theme and they're extremely adorable i already have amazing extra merch plan for the merch box so make sure you guys keep an eye out on my patreon and all my social media to see about that so anyway there is a lot to get done to prep for WonderCon in the next week and a half so i'm gonna leave you guys here and remind you to subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my videos and thank you guys so 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 much for watching i hope this was an enjoyable convention vlog for you there's gonna be another one very very soon and i hope to see you guys very soon bye